This is the topic of this video. Tank. Hello and welcome to the next video about hydraulics. We're still at the power supply part. We're looking at the tank now. Let's short think what is the task of the tank or what are the tasks of the tank. There's not one task, there are more tasks. One task is uh, that the tank shall, shall uh, contain the oil. Okay? For sure. Uh, second task is that the oil can stay long enough inside the tank that it can get uh, rid of, of excessive heat, yeah? it can cool down there, it can get rid of, of air which might have been absorbed during pressure phase somewhere, yeah? because if it's expanded, if it's relieved the oil, then, you know, remember this with the bottle, with the carbonated water, if you open, it will foam out, yeah? the air will go out, this, the tank, can, in the side the tank, can be done, yeah? so that the air has enough time to get out of the oil. Yeah? Also, if there is some rub somewhere coming back with the oil, this rub needs to be time, have time to sink to the bottom yeah? and lay there. Then, uh, last but not least, we have to mount our pump somewhere. Yeah? And of course, the tank is an ideal position to mount the pump, eh? because from there we pump it out. Eh? So, these are the tasks of the tank. Eh? Let's draw, let's make a simple, simple drawing of a tank. Eh? Usually, tank looks like this. It's made of sheet metal. Eh? Usually we have somewhere a cover yeah, that we can open it, look inside. This is sealed here, yeah, this is bolted and sealed, because in there, there is somewhere the oil level. Okay, somewhere here is the oil level. Then there is the pump somewhere. So there, mounted here, somewhere here, a pump is. There's the suction line, and the suction line has to go deep through the ground. They are usually cut with an angle. Go deep to, but not totally to the ground, because we don't want to suck in all the dirt which might fall out, all this rub and so on. Yeah? So, but however, we do not want to risk to suck in air. So, it's always middle thing. Then we go boop, back somewhere to the system with our line. So this is the pump. Okay. And then, in another place, we have the return line. Yeah? The return line will also go below the surface for sure also cut this is the return line where the oil is coming back why we not do not spill it because we don't want to get in air or disturb yeah we don't want to get foam so we simply pull all those tubes below the surface so it's not foamy there yeah? same reason why you from the tap, at the beer, yeah, not too much foam. Same reason here. Those two, the suction line and the, and the return line. They need to be as far apart from each other as possible. This does not really mean they must be physically far apart. They must only be for the oil path. So inside there can be some sheet metal or something like this, yeah? so that the path of the oil is longer. Yeah? And there might also be some metal with which is, which is 
where the oil can pass but not the foam. Okay? So it's uh, with holes and so on. Yeah. This is how this looks like. The bottom, the bottom usually has some steepness. Yeah. In order, if there is rubbish or something like this, then it will go here, and here is a valve, I can flush it out. Okay. How, how, how big shall the size be? Uh, how big shall the size be of such such thing? Uh, of course, it's dependent on the pump size. Uh, if the pump sucking out, I don't know, 10 liters per second, then the size shall be around roughly four times, three to five times of the pump. So the pump shall take three to five minutes to completely empty the, the tank. Yeah? That's thumb rule. Okay? It also depends, of course, how much heat is inserted, how much time I need to get rid of the heat, of the heat, of the heat, yeah, to get rid of the heat, and also get rid of of, of air and so on. Yeah. There is also the form of the tank important. A high tank, yeah, a very high tank, comparable high tank. Yeah. This is good for heat. Yeah, because here the oil is somewhere. I have a lot of of surface covered with oil. And the radiation is quite good. If I want to get rid of air, then a broad tank with the same volume. Yeah? This is good for air. This is good for getting rid of gases. This is good for getting rid of, of heat. Depending on your conditions, what are the troubles? Yeah? You have to use this or this one. Yeah? Then usually in such tanks, there is also a, a difference between if all cylinders or, or everything is, is out, yeah, then there is more oil in the system than in the tank. Yeah. No, not more oil in the system than the tank, but if every, every cylinder is moved to the outside position, yeah, I need more oil in the system, then it's moved to the inside position. Yeah. So the level of this oil here. This is fluctuating, yeah, depending on how the actuators are switched out there. Yeah? So the, the level will change during operation. Yeah? Because sometimes I need more oil in my cylinders, sometimes I need less oil, uh, less oil in my cylinders. So I also have here some ventilation. Yeah? And this ventilation, there are filters, yeah? air filter. And this air filter, of course, also needs to have a certain size. If everything is moving at the same time and the, the, the level is really dropping, it needs to suck in enough air and other way around. If everything is going inside, the level is rapidly filling and the air must get out somewhere. Yeah? You have to take care about this, that this air filler is, this, this ventilation filter, this ventilation filter is capable of doing this. In mobile hydraulics, these tank sizes cannot be that big. I cannot run around and, and, and I cannot, they're much smaller, much smaller. And also in mobile hydraulics, those things are usually, are usually closed. So a mobile hydraulic tank is much smaller. There's also a pump sucking out. Yeah. However, there's also a return line going in somewhere. Yeah. But there is no there is no air inside. Yeah. Usually it's all filled with oil. I have a completely closed closed system. Yeah. This is good for aging and so on. Uh, and I do have inside here somewhere a bladder or something like this. Yeah? 
which is filled with nitrogen yeah? with a certain pressure. So also in, in mobile hydraulics, also the, the tank is under pressure, yeah? which is quite good because then here in the suction line of the pipe, I do have less cavitation. So that cavitation is happening if the if uh, the pressure is dropping below a certain value. If this here is already, already under pressure, cavitation is less likely than here. Because the deeper the, 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 the pressure drops, the more likely the cavitation will happen. Yeah? And here is ambient pressure yeah? inside, the, inside the tank. And if I suck, it's below ambient pressure and I have the risk of cavitation. This is a little bit too far down. Yeah, you see, there is a lot of, there's quite some difference. Yeah? These types is mobile tanks, they're usually much smaller. So also here, the, the, the oil cannot get rid of the heat yeah? in mobile tanks then there is necessary cooler. Yeah. So that's basically the topics for, for the tank. So inside the tank, the oil shed shall have time to rest, to get rid of excessive gas, get rid of rub, get rid of heat, depending on the form factor of the tank, it's better for heat or it's better for, for getting rid of gas. Yeah. To give the oil a certain time, or allow the oil to stay inside the tank as long as possible, we have really to think about how to place the return line, how to place the suction line, so that the oil is slowly passing through all the tank and not just bypassing the tank. Yeah the return oil is immediately sucked in. This would not be good. Yeah. So we can use here sheet metals in between, yeah, some, some metal parts simply to make the way longer. Hmm. Meander-like style. Yeah. Here need air filter, here need a bladder which is filled with, with uh, air or nitrogen in this case. Such things are nice if there is dirt or water even, water will also be at the bottom yeah, because the usual, the usual um, liquid is oil yeah, and oil is lighter than water so water will be at the bottom so I can simply open here, let out the water. There are also water warners which can be installed yeah, to work with the density of the water, yeah, swimmers yeah, which will float in water, but not in oil. Yeah, that's the tasks of, of a tank. Like, let's, like said, rule of thumb, four, three, four, five times the bumper. Yeah. This is the usual size, plus 15% for reserve, for air and so on. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending if you have great heat or something like this. Hmm. Great heat. That's a thing. Yeah. We will discuss coolers, yeah. but not next time, the video afterwards. Yeah. Next time we're going to discuss filters. So, we will discuss where or how we can place filters and what are the numbers which are mentioned on such filters. What are they good for? Yeah? What are they meaning? Yeah? What's a better value? We will cover this in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.